All right, Kenman here, and today is another fun unboxing day. What did we get? What company is it from? Is it big? Is it small? What kind of blade is it? Let's find out right now. Before we start, I'm not sponsored by anyone, and I purchase everything at retail price. I do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment below. All right, last guesses, here we are. It is a upside down reveal bag on the floor. Whoosh. Kaiser, another Kaiser. Which one is it? What do we think? Let's get in and just find out. All right, standard Kaiser pack. A couple of stickers. The stellar sticker may reveal it. Nope, it did not. Azo drop bear. I did not get a drop bear. Cool stickers though. All right. And you got your normal insert. Nice cloth. Show the insert for those that have never seen. They've got some cool imagery. And then there. Thank you for choosing. Usage and care warranty. Okay, let's get to it. There it is. Looking good. Kaiser always, or I guess they always. You get a little bag of screws, a little replacement bag of screws. Which is really nice, and then I gotta go and get my sharpie out and write on that bag which one it goes with, so I don't get them mixed up. Box on the floor. All right, here it is. Let's get in. Which one is it? Mini bag on the floor today. Ooh, that is an interesting my carded pattern I got on mine. This is the Kaiser. P-P-Y. Oh. Well, there she is. A little dirty. Let's get a little wipe here. Ugh. Okay. Kaiser P-P-Y. Ooh. Oh, it's got that Kaiser action. Okay. I gotta be careful. I'm gonna... Cut myself. Drop shut seems like. All right. So what are we looking at today? The Kaiser PPY has a 154 cm blade steel. Nice little thin drop point. Looks like it's got a little, see that? You can see that little shiny reflection right there. A very, very thin little secondary. It's not sharp or anything, but you can see right there at this angle. Just a little secondary like grind that they put on it. That's kind of cool. Um, we got this micarta handle with a two-tone. So it's like a faux fake bolster area. But that is a chunk of micarta. Looks like they must have maybe glued a couple pieces or attached two different colors together when they were making it. And then it's got this kind of stripey weathered kind of look. I love it. Micarta is fun. It kind of wears in over time with your just naturally touching it and oils and things. Um, but where this is already, it's got a cool weathered look. I dig it. That's fun. Look at this blade drop. Excellent. Thumb studs only, but it seems the thumb works well. Finger flick works really well. It is a liner lock. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you can see that like nice smooth, it's kind of cut out a little extra here. So you can really get in there quite easy. Oh, this one's going to be dangerous. I can feel it. Boom, flicks out good, but it wants to drop. If your thumb's not in the way, that's dropping. Finger flick. Oops, caught my index finger there. Wow, this has got some nice action. I was expecting with a Kaiser. Kaisers, the ones that I have, we'll look at a couple others in a second here. 
they tend to have good action. Oh, I did it. I did it again. I caught my index finger was too far around this way, and then the blade got a hold of it coming around. Actually, it looks like it was the, uh, the thumb stud coming around and catching that. Let's try it again. Yeah, it's definitely the thumb stud in my finger. My index finger is kind of in the way. This is a little scary because it's like the, the liner lock really attaches. So look at that. It just When it detaches, it's just whoosh. That blade wants to fly down. I've talked about it in the past as a lefty. Now, I'm going to be very cautious because, like I said, now that wants to just swing. If your thumb isn't in the way, that can swing around like that and get you right on that spot of your thumb. I have done that more than one occasion. So it's kind of one of those things you got to kind of think about when you've got a knife like this. Keep your thumb up high. Prevent it from flying down fast. Because then when you move, do get out of the way, it pretty much, whoo, look at that action, huh? And remember, if you have a heavy blade, the weight of that blade coming down, at this, just the gravity helps do it. This is by no means a heavy blade. That is a thin looking profile, nice looking smaller blade, not a lot of mass to it, but still... That action on that pivot is Kaiser awesome. I tell you what. Okay, jimps. We have a hefty row of jimps. Goes way out. I have a larger hand, um, but those jimps where I get my thumb all the way out and reach out, you can see they go past my thumb. If I really try to reach out, those are fantastic. I like that set of jimps right there. They're smaller but they've got a nice little texture. They feel good in that hand as you put your thumb to it. Woo, woo, dangerous. Woo, this is fun. I like the, the shape, the style. It's very simple, clean kind of look. Pocket clip can be swapped to the other side for the lefties, which is excellent. Um, looks like they did that extra kind of polish to all the, the metal, give it that extra little bit of shine. Real big lanyard hole right there you can see. My finger behind it there. That is enormous. You can definitely tie it four or five lanyards in there if you want it. <laughs> wow. What does everyone think? Does anybody have one of these? Um, I dig it. This isn't, um, I don't know if I'd call it. It was, there was a little bit of a sale. I'm always looking for the sale prices, you know, since I'm not sponsored. I got a hair somewhere here. Um, since I'm not sponsored, it's kind of on me to pick stuff. So I'll buy an, a, a knife from a company like Kaiser, and then I liked it. And if I liked it, then I'll look at the other offerings that they have and continue to order things from them. And so when stuff comes up on sale, I'll, I'll try to pay attention to that and save a couple bucks. Not always in a super rush to get every single knife. So some of them I'll put in carts and just kind of hang out and wait and see how they do. And boom. Drop 15, 20 bucks off of it, all of a sudden you're like, oh, might as well. Today's the day. And it was. And here we go. Kaiser PPY. Let's do some close-ups. That blade, you can see that little extra cut out on the top there. I really like this micarta, this kind of stripey, weathered kind of look it's given. Yeah, I dig it. Very simple knife. This is kind of another one of those worker knives where the handle feels really nice. Oh, I love the way my Carta feels. It just has a good grip to it. it. It's I go like this with my thumb across it, and it just it wants to just grab hold of my skin in in, in a comforting way. I, I, I feel it. I dig it. I like it. And man, this thing definitely has got some great action. All right, <clears throat> let's oh let's do this quick here. Wow, see that? How when you push it, it just wants to fly down. Centering is good. Looks like it's nice and centered. That liner lock, you can see it locks up real nice in there. Um, this scale doesn't really have much any flex to it. I haven't really noticed any issue about getting any pressure on that lock. Um, detent. takes It's pretty close to the end there, but then boom, it pops in. Um, I have some knives. I'm going to pull this out a little bit. Sometimes where you go and you try to push and you'll get it kind of be able to do one of these things. This one here, I'm going to try to do that. And it, it pretty much 
has enough strength in the detent that I'll try with my index finger. Ooh, did you see how slow that flew and that still made it all the way out? It's just such a smooth pivot. Try to just get it to stop. Oh, yeah. Great action on the PPY. It reminds me of the LP, which I'm going to grab in a second here. Um, Kaiser, for sure. All right. Kind of that mid range. Wants to be seven and a half, not quite seven and a half. It's about seven and three eighths overall length. Blade itself is three and a quarter to the handle. And then you also have almost three and a quarter, a little less, more like three and an eighth to where that um, sharpening choil little spot is. We have a four inch handle and the handle without the clip is just under half inch wide. Great size. Not real large, but not small either. So my hand, when I grab it like this naturally, fits perfectly in there. Not really much of a cutout. It's fairly smooth across. There is a little bit of a notch right there. You see that little kind of goes up. It's kind of a little spot where your pinky kind of sits. I'm going to I spread my hand out kind of wide, like a wide loose grip. And there's still a little bit on the end there. So it's big enough handle that you get a nice full size grab on it but it's not an extremely large blade like if you're just looking for a nice small little elegant kind of drop point there that doesn't have a lot of major blade but man look at that where that point is you can get right in there and do some nice work with it the action is almost too good i just worry about bringing that into my thumb i don't want to keep saying that but it's like it's a thing this knife is great Control it, and you can really have some fun. Okay, um, get her next to the pyrite here. Pyrite is one I always compare pretty much everything with. It's a common size, not quite full size knife. This is almost identical to the pyrite size wise. Actually, has a little bit more cutting surface because the uh, front, the finger choil from the pyrite right there, but really handles about the same. Blade length is about the same as that pyrite right there. Kaiser LP. I'm going to zoom out for a sec. This is the one that has that action that just drops like that. What's nice about this one though, because it has the flipper tab, when I go like this, every time I can pretty much catch my thumb on that flipper tab and then let it drop. But look at the drop on this right it just wants to fall shut but this feels like it's the same but without that flipper tab you have to be a little more cautious about that blade coming down this one i did the dye this is a fade dye i did this kind of orange to darker orange you want to check that out right there but i do a lot of dye and custom projects on the channel this one with that fade i think turned out really really good this knife the lp is an awesome knife this is one of the reasons i really like kaiser just the action like i was saying that they have on their pivots and just the the way the blade feels and just opens really good ah oh, it's there it's it's sweet and so it's a little bit bigger it's closer to that full size in comparison to the ppy um but they're, they are kind of similar as, as far as the, how their action goes. The handle is actually pretty close to the same. Just the blade with that that profile and that kind of more worn cliff blade on the LP. It makes it a little bit larger. What else is another similar one from Kaiser? Well, I don't know similar, but a Bugai. It's probably similar in size is kind of what I was getting at. Handle is about the same. This one, the tip is just a little bit longer than the Bugai. The Bugai is definitely a beefier blade this way got a little more thickness plus that fuller hole for flicking out but it's got that same kaiser drop shut action that just man their pivots are fantastic i really like kaiser um another one i just got recently is this tiny little urban buoy but watch it doesn't have any weight and it's small that was kind of not there boom it takes not a whole lot to get this one to drop down. It's, it's fantastic. 
what I'm getting at is, yeah, Kaiser, I'm not sponsored by them, but I can definitely say that uh, I like their stuff. I have a few other Kaisers. I'm not showing them all today. Um, but they're, it's a good company. I recommend it. They have some great offerings in the um, kind of budget-friendly range and some stuff that's more premium. And, yeah, I like it. This PPY is cool. It's, it's definitely more of a kind of a user one of those ones that's got a good action, ah, I tell you, that uh, it's easy to open, easy to do some work with. I could see this being a good kind of just something I could carry and use on a regular basis and not really worry about beating on it a little bit. Sometimes you got that $200, well, and everyone's got a price range. Everyone's got a thing, you know, but me, I got a $200 knife in my pocket. I don't really, I kind of baby it or I don't want to cut it or sometimes I'll, have that fifty dollar pot knife in my other pocket, and then I need to make some cuts. I'll I'll use the cheaper one, and then keep that more expensive one more of a showpiece or whatever. But this one it feels like it's a good worker. Um, it's also it's a great knife. This is a really nice looking knife. It's classy. I'm not going to downplay it at all. It's it's a good knife. One fifty four cm blade steels. Awesome. Micarta is a good handle. Uh, because you can flip that over it's good for the lefties the action is great i i like it i'm happy with this ppy what does everyone think comment below definitely more custom stuff coming with the lasers the guys got to get back on that scrimshaw uh, uh several unboxings still i've been keep i keep ordering stuff so yeah Gonna try to start going live on a regular basis pretty soon. Comment below what days work good for you for me to do that. What would you like to see? Um, but I want to try to do some live stuff and then uh, maybe do some live custom work and dies or something like that. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Kaiser PPY. If you enjoy what you see, please hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more. It helps me out and I really appreciate it. Stay sharp. We'll see you soon.